Evening all, Chief Prepper here. Uh, it's the night before Thanksgiving, so I wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I most likely won't be doing any videos tomorrow. Texas is about to get hit with a snowstorm, mostly in the Panhandle and probably Abilene and west and north. So Amarillo may get like two feet of snow. That's a lot. So <clears throat> Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Simply put, uh, the train strike is looming. Uh, I don't think it'll happen. Or, how's this? I hope it don't happen. I don't think it will because I think they'll, the government will step in. The problem with saying that is the civilian, they're civilian employees, as in they're not military, they're not government service or anything. They're, they can be called essential workers all they want, but my understanding is their working conditions aren't that good. So, uh, having said that, if the government thinks they're going to show up and say, well, you got to go to work. Well, if I was one of those trained people and I voted to strike and they were striking, I'd say, fuck you, I ain't going. So, and what that means is... Uh, there's going to be a bunch more unemployed people. Well, I think it's like 160,000 people, probably 75 to 80,000 will come back to work and they'll continue to be very unhappy. If we're lucky, they'll kick the can down the road till January and it won't hit till then. But having said all that, I hope you're not one of those people who's waiting to the last second to Christmas shop this year. I have just a few more things to order, which I will do probably in the next 48 hours I ordered six things in the last 24 maybe 48 I don't know. I ordered them two of them have already shipped and the other ones will ship uh, probably tomorrow or the next day well not tomorrow but Friday or Saturday if not they'll get here next week so uh, I would not wait and if there's something on your prepping list that you consider essential, I also would not wait. Uh, just keep in mind that even if the train strike never happens, there's probably 10 other things going on in the world right now that can make uh, getting something at some point in the future difficult, hard, or impossible. So, I was just watching Canadian Prepper. And he says all the power plants in Ukraine have been shut down. So, take that for what it is. I mean, I talked to a friend of mine this morning. Uh, a very good friend, my best friend. <clears throat> Towards the end of the conversation, I rattle off all the fucking Medusa snakes waiting to bite us. You know, Iran, Israel, Turkey's in is uh, invading or attacking Syria and uh, Iraq, China, Taiwan, North Korea, South Korea, Japan against something. Uh, Ukraine, Russia, you got the economic issues and woes we have. And then you have the, the uh, looming train strike, uh, which will shut down the entire nation. Even if it's only for a few days, it'll, it'll take a long time to get going again. So, I hope you have food, I hope you have water, I hope you have a way to defend yourself, uh, I hope you're mentally prepared for what's coming. I really didn't want to talk about this because it's depressing. Um, Thanksgiving is tomorrow, please make sure you enjoy that day with your family, and if you don't believe in celebrating it, just enjoy the day with your family. Uh, I really do believe we're coming to an end of the days where we're going to be at peace. So, you know, I don't, I don't foresee this ending worldwide without something happening and it being a long process to get out of it. So, get prepped. I'm just about ready to go buy a hundred gallon tank from Tractor Supply and put it on a trailer I have and take it to the, uh, gas station three or four times and fill it up just so I have gas for an extended amount of time uh, I mean this it, the world is getting to that point if you wait till the gas is running out at the pump going and buying a tank 
and filling it up will be too late. So the tank's like four hundred dollars, and then to be another three hundred to fill it up, and then cap it and store it. Not that much gas on hand, you need to ground the tank and be very careful around it. So just uh, keep prepping, folks. Keep watching. Keep listening. Pay attention to what they're not saying. So, anyway. Happy Thanksgiving, you all. Have a great day tomorrow. My house is going to hopefully enjoy the Macy's Day Parade. I'll be cooking since uh, I retired and didn't go back to work in 2020. I kind of, I cooked last year for Christmas and, and Thanksgiving. And I'll be cooking this year for both of those holidays. And I get some supervision from my wife because she did it for like 20 something years, but she doesn't, she works and I'm retired. So I don't think she should have to go to work and then come home and cook. So I do the cooking now. She hasn't complained too much, so it can't be too bad. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Chief Prepper, out.